All right, ladies and gentlemen, we return, and it's time to see what the hell Mario wants, and if we're celebrating for once instead of, you know, cowering and running from things. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. <laughs> what? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio. Walk with me. Yes, uncle. And with horse. Pass the answer to another. Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful men in all of Europe, and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free, but not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right, that's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. Okay. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Uh, read the letter, which, you know, we can do that anywhere, but I suppose it's telling us to go up to our room. Wait. Is this... Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Then, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. All right, sounds good. Sounds like uh, there's more pieces of Eden hidden somewhere. Uh, reach the viewpoint. I did that already, though. I did that already. Let's let's check out the rest of the villa first. Uh, that's just like a balcony and where we just were. Oh, fuck. Mother. I don't have any more feathers. This must be our room. So, paintings of our targets. I assume we only get the paintings of those we killed already. Ooh, chest. Chest, give me! Down. Ooh, fine. I'm glad they didn't discard of any health. <laughs> Just having a field day jumping around inside the house. Ezio's five once more. Down we go. And a little armory. Excellent. Alright, let's go do the viewpoint again because it so desperately wants us to. Up we go.
Okay, you, you could have just pulled up on the roof shingles, not not the uh, the dildo attached to the roof. Okay, there's another codex page in town. Collect the four philosophical codex pages. Okay, so there's one. I saw another one over here. Um. Oh, there's something else over here. What's this? A chest. Give me the money. Thank you, you beautiful, lovely game. Alright, now for the codex. Where is the next one? There's one there, and one all the way out there. Cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please, be careful, Miss Anne. Okay, I'll be careful. You lost Didn't your mind to do that. Run from here, shameful. Give me your three florins. Now just imagine, right? Somebody pickpocketed you. You know they pickpocketed you because they were standing directly in front of you when they did it. But when they go to run, do they go down the street? No. Do they turn down an alley? No. Do they even get into a car or a horse or whatever and then try to escape that way? No. They climb up a fucking building. <laughs> Imagine that. How dumbfounded would you be if somebody just stole from you and then climbed up a fucking building like it was nothing? I wouldn't know what to do. I mean, even if you called the police, you'd be like, yeah, uh, some dude who can climb buildings just, like, mugged me. And it was like, we're not equipped for that, sir. <laughs> or they'll spend, like, eight weeks looking at, looking to try to find somebody who's an actual video game character. Give me this codex. Alright, do I go back to Mario or can I go to uh, Florence? Oh, back to Mario it is. And we can't climb the outer walls, so. Oh, it's back to Claudia. Okay. Oh god, it's so dreary. Let the sun come out! Just galloping forth like I'm about to charge somebody with the horde of cavalry behind me. Okay, let's go speak to Claudia. We got um, we got uh, another feather from Mother. Nope, no training today. Just get up, get up. Thank you. I said no training, we're just gonna go around. Or two. Excuse me, sir. He is an immovable rock. What you doing, Claudia? Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? <laughs> He's making me work. If my father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Zio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. 
And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Yeah. Capito. Okay. Um, oh, there's a dude. Um, before we speak to the, the, to that dude who looks just like a normal peasant or maybe a thief from, uh, from town, we're gonna go, uh, put this feather into the, okay, you're being a little bit extra there. Architect. He's an architect. We're gonna go put this feather away. How many feathers was, did I need to collect? A hundred. What the fuck? SEO's just not having it. He's like, I'm gonna climb around and you're gonna not fucking stop me. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir, Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? And then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Sir Ezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. <laughs> I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay, so, uh, let's open a tailor. I'm at a thousand. Um, oh, and we need a bank, too. I don't know how. Oh, we have two thousand left. Uh, yeah, let's open up all the all of them then. And for shits and giggles, what is this gonna do? Okay, I guess I don't have enough money for it. What oh, seven thousand. Okay, andiamo. Who are we speaking to now? Is it Mario? Ezio Mario. Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. All right, well. Of course, hidden bookcase. Or hidden staircase. Hmm. What you got for us? Can, can I steal from Mario? Oh, now I can't even catch up to him. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> this is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. Maybe so. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. 
All right. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Thank you, Rebecca. I will endeavor to do so. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. Nope. Ezio, no. Ezio, no. Ezio, no! <laughs> So now we're headed back to Florence. It's funny, Ezio's intentions were like, I'm going to Florence and I'm going now. But nope. He's got like eight more things to do. Or treasure maps. Uh, let's look at the tailor frame. Oh god. What's that? Ooh. Copper. See you next time. Okay. We might find different and better colors later, but we're gonna go with this for now. And so we're going this way, which does point us to Florence. Not accidentally, not accidentally going to San Gimignano like we fucked up several times in Assassin's Creed 1 trying to get to other places. Home sweet home. this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Haha! <laughs> you found another one! How exciting! Four, actually. Mm, this one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm, what to make of all this? Ha <laughs> ha, of course, and why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Molto grazie, Lorenzo. <laughs> Lorenzo Leonardo. Ah, oh, God. Right, so what do we got? Okay, so our hidden blade has been upgraded a bit, apparently. I guess to facilitate our doing that. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> All right, and the last one being. Assassination. Wait. There we go. Yes, because these dummies squirt blood. Or Leonardo's been having us, like, murder dummies of the corpses he studies. Oh my god. I hope not. I've done it. Come quickly. Look. Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. 
There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. The fox. Shh. Abisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Sta attento, amico. Molto grazie. All right, we finally got a second hidden blade. I'm sure I have just <laughs> To go. I order up this Ejoria. All merchants trading in unconverted. Oh, shit. Alright, so we can now assassinate in multiple different ways. Be up here, stop them. No, he's. <laughs> ah, God. Can I, can I loot you? Cool, I looted his corpse. Oh, that's why Hidden Blade plate armor or some such. Get down. There you go. Fox hunt! Kick your ass, buddy. Get back here. Make me. You're making a. I really have no interest in hurting you. So give me back my money and we'll call it even. Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things <laughs> murderer, tagliagore, thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Ma certo. Let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. All right, well... Ezio doesn't seem to like that very much, but... He's gonna have to deal with it. La Volpe. Come stai, signor? Follow me. But we must move fast. Think you can keep up? That's un problema. Andiamo. Really? Okay. Okay. Up, up we go. Up. <laughs> what are you doing back there? I said to keep up with me. Yeah, and I'm s you're stuck in a script mode. <laughs> oh shit. How did you miss that? Alright, where are we going? Where are we going? Where is it? 
love the music. Just love it. It's great. Here we are. Francesco Di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. How do I join them? There are catacombs that run under the city. They will lead you to a place where you can eavesdrop on the meeting. Grip that stone handle. Turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Vope. Hmm. Buona fortuna. Muto grazie, amico. There are bats. It's a little platforming puzzle. Shouldn't be hard to get through. And gotta be real careful though. Can we jump up? Yes, we can. necessary for other than game design. <laughs> Stand here, Saverio. It's so cold. What do you want, Ilario? Messer Pazzi is paying us good money to watch the entrance, and the dead won't try to murder us. I can't wait to go home to Elena and tell her how much gold we made tonight. The dead won't try to kill you, but I will. Alright, let's get moving. Further, I cannot, but I can climb across. Is that an assassin? Ooh. What's up, buddy? Bye bye! Oh! Stabbed in the nuts and then thrown off a ledge. That's a terrible way to die. Thank you. Go to sleep. Give me your loot. Just down there. I like how it shows you the path, but like kind of gives you the leeway to forget. Or just like if you're not paying attention, you're good. You're you're fucked. Oh, yeah. 
hope I don't get like frozen on this thing like I did in Florence. Or I, I am in Florence, but like that one point. Alright, next level. Watch while I go look. This was supposed to be an easy job. I told you we shouldn't have come here. If I hear anything, I'm running to the other guard post. So help me God. Well, sir, it was an easy job. And it still is. You just didn't expect you to... You, I can't use throwing knives down here. That's weird. You just didn't expect to get murdered on it. And there's a giant difference between a hard job and a job where you can die. What's up, fuckers? Not you! Get it! Oh shit, I missed it. Come on. Oh! <laughs> Just one, two. Alright, give me all your money. You don't need it anymore. <laughs> Still can't use throwing knives, which I don't like. But. but. Somebody... Severio! I'll be back with the other guards! Severio's dead. You'll be joining him soon. And I can see why they don't want us using droid knives now. Just letting that shit flow. Come on. <laughs> I'm catching up. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go through that. That's gonna close. Oh shit, I almost had him. Assassination. Bye bye. No one comes to arms. Sorry about your leg. I probably broke a couple of bones on that landing. Appears to be nothing in there for me, so I'm gonna just do this. Et benedictio Dei omnipotentes, Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et maneat semper. Grazie, Padre. Bernardo. It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I take this gift to mean the Pope consents. He gave his blessing to the operation. As long as nobody's killed. We're all set for the Duomo in the morning, Signore. The bait's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool brother keeps changing his plans. See. Si. We'll need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Jacopo? Do you think they suspect something? Impossible! The Medici are too arrogant or too stupid to even notice. Likely a bit of both. <laughs> do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Or have you already forgotten how your son was murdered? We'll suffer no such surprises this time, Maestro. You have my word. Molto bene. I should be off. 
I have some other business to attend to before I return to Rome. Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the Father, May the Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide, us. guide us. Yet again, I cannot assassinate the entire room. Look at that statue. It's identical to one in the Villa Auditore. I think you've stumbled onto one of the assassin's tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. Which is good. I mean, we clearly have, but... You now know, that we know the chess. way in, I'll tag the landmarks containing tombs in the database. Thanks, Rebecca. Alright, give me this. our way out and push seal of diamonds there we go novella secret is that a fucking reference to the cask of amontillado <laughs> my god Francesco will be and when. But what is it? I overheard something. They have weapons, enough for a battalion. Even the Pope has given support. Hmm. Typical of Sixtus, but what the hell are they planning? I couldn't understand the specifics, but it involves the Medici, and it begins tomorrow morning at the Duomo. The Medici will all be there for Sunday service. Along with the rest of Firenze. They're going to do it right in the middle of high mass. But it's also a chance for me to blend with the crowd, get close, and stop this madness. If they succeed, if we lose Lorenzo and Firenze falls to the Pazzi... It will not come to that. I promise. I hope you are right. We'll just kill them all. It's something we have some experience with. Can't do that. Oh, wait, wait. Get down. <laughs> Was this a chest? Yeah, it is. Oh, fuck. I don't see why you're <laughs> skipping up like that, uh, Ezio, but whatever. You just stand in the corner for it. That'll teach you to stand in corners like a creep. What? Why would anyone carry on like what's that? What's the sparkling? I can hear sparkling. Oh shit! Oh, a chest. Let's go. Uh, probably won't take out this archer up here though. Hey! Excuse me, have a hug. Oh my god, his neck just sunk into his body. Hello, like, goodbye. Alright, let's go save Lorenzo de Medici and the rest of his family. What's up, boys? Right, um, see, I don't want to do. Oh, there's. Nope, get up. Thank you. Nope, fucking Etsy. Get across the damn thing. Is that a feather? Yes, it is. Get up, thank you. 
I'm so glad it didn't have me do a leap of faith. That would have been so dumb. That's one of the golden <laughs> chests. Alright, up we go. Nope, just, just use the ladder. Thank you. Okay, so there seems to also be a crypt in, near the Duomo, maybe? Or in the Duomo? Here we are. Well, that's Leonardo in this place. Oh, there they are. There's Lorenzo and his wife. There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. Where is Francesco? There he is. I'm to strike. Giuliano! No! Oh, Jesus! Your day is done, Lorenzo. Your entire family dies by my sword. Fuck! Not Fuss. until you do. I kill! In the back. In the eyes. Oh shit. Yeah, okay, that's why I can't use that the hidden blades for those things. Come on. In the gut I gotta save Lorenzo. No, thank you. All right, you and me, Vati. Francesco and the arm. So you have to pay. Ah, not now. I need help first. To my home. People I trust. Can you? Ah. All right, let's get you home. Andiamo. Oh, I'm I said a brain lot of that. Hang on, signore. I'm moving as fast as I can. Can he move any faster? Hey, Madonna, I want Francesco, they're fasting! 
I'll kill you. I'll wipe the entire family from the city. They'll be all right. Careful, man. We got heavy, signore. Conserve your energy, or I'll be delivering a corpse. You're almost there. Excuse me, thank you. Excuse me, move. Shit. Down he goes. Oh, down. Are you afraid? Don't chill a fire. General leader. Alright. There we go. Killer. Let's go. Lorenzo has been wounded. Aprite la porta. What's the password? Poliziano. Open the maledetta porta. The price <laughs> threat is coming quickly. The city is at war. Hurry. Wait. I am in your debt. Tell me, why did you help me? You are not the only one who lost a brother to the Pazzi. My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah. You're Giovanni's son. Your father was a good man. He understood honor, loyalty. The Pazzi thugs are storming the Palazzo della Signoria! We cannot hold them off much longer! No! If they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power! Then my survival would mean nothing. I have to... Uh, uh, Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city, Auditore. Kill him. Alright. Let's go murder him. Oh, wait. Right in front of us. Okay. Signori, I saw Francesco lead a battalion around the back of the Palazzo della Signoria. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can! Okay, so... Uh, the streets are not safe, but I don't think that matters too much. Oh, jeez. <laughs> don't want to get hit. Bring me your sick and wounded. Excuse me, excuse me. We're headed back to the prison, right? Let, let's start taking these guys. Yep, there we go. Ooh, a chest. I've been through here at least like five times. How did I miss this? Great. Alright, up we go. Oh shit. Is he dead? He's dead. Alright, up we go. What do you think your truth? 
Okay, I can't climb up that way for some reason. I grow tired of this game. God, he needs to go. There, on him. Come on. Stop procrastinating and attack me. How many of you are gonna run after I kill, kill like three of you? Alright, just one. Okay. None of that then. Can I grab you now? Release me! <laughs> Release me! Francesco! Gods! Gods! No one's coming. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stami lontano! Excuse me? Come here, you bastard. No running for you. Now Firenze will judge you for what you've done. It's over. It's all over. Yes, it is. Meglio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima. Requiescat in pace. All right, yet another assassination. Libertà! 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 Popolo e libertà! Libertà! Francesco? <laughs> <laughs> All right, farewell, Francesco. What do you got for us? When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I woke to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. They attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. They? Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei, Archbishop Francesco Salviatti, Stefano da Bagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene, I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait, before you go. 
A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco de Pazzi. Seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. <laughs> yeah. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity. As did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga. Molto grazie. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That is uh, the assassination of Francesco Di Pazzi and the last of the Di Pazzi's to get rid of. So I thank you so very much for watching today. I enjoyed having you and I hope you enjoyed being here and I will see you all next time. Jacopo Di Pazzi, the money.